Breaking news at 6. For the first time, we are seeing transcripts from the 911 calls made in the minutes after the Lewiston made mass shootings last October. Those shootings left 18 people dead and 13 others wounded. NBC10 investigator Kathy Curran has read through the pages of transcripts and joins us in studio with what she's learned. And Glenn and Priscilla, a flurry of calls came into the Lewiston Auburn Dispatch Center that night back in October. They detailed the horror of what was happening. People in the bowling alley and the bar were trying to hide, lock doors, and run to safety while pleading for help. The first call for help came from the just in time bowling alley in Lewiston at 655. A woman saying there's a shooter inside and that she was locked in the office and asking police to please hurry. Seconds later, a person at the front desk says there's just been a mass shooting and describes the gunman as wearing a black sweatshirt armed with an AR. He says, I just don't know if he's coming back in. I gotta go lock my doors. The calls pour in with reports of an active shooter and someone who's got a gun in the bowling alley with shots being fired. Another caller says they're outside booking in the woods to safety and that some people know the person who has the gun. The dispatcher assuring people police are on their way and asking if anyone has died. The caller says, I think so. Another reports that a child was shot. He's bleeding. He's been shot in the arm. At one point, a dispatcher tells one caller to stay very quiet and stay out of sight and says they're trying to figure out where this guy is with the gun. At 7.07, calls begin to come in from the second scene at Shemengi's Bar and Grill. The caller asking police to get there now. Another says he's in the field hiding and has a man that looks like he's shot with him, the victim at least in his 30s and death. The dispatcher urging him if needed to form a tourniquet until the ambulance can get to you. People reporting bullets are still going off right now. I would assume there's people dead, probably 20 shots fired with a couple guys performing CPR on a gentleman and lots of casualties. One of the last callers saying, we've all been shot, please hurry. And the last call came in just before nine that night with the caller saying they recognized the images they saw of the shooter and identifying him as 40-year-old Robert Card. They said Card had firearms and they'd been concerned about his mental health and had reported this previously. Card was found deceased two days later. Kathy Karn, NBC 10 Investigators.